Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to convert boolean to string in Power Automate. These are the different actions that we are going to use in our flow. First, we will create a SharePoint list with the column that has SR no data type. After that, in our flow, we will see how to convert the boolean value to string value. And finally, we will send the email to the particular user. So let's begin with how to convert true to s yes in the power automate so in this example i am going to use the employee list consisting of employee id employee name designation date of joining previously worked or not and the disability person and this is the default title column and this is the people picker column this is the single line text this is the date type and this column is the sr no type similarly here you can see this is also the sr no type now we will start creating the flow to convert the boolean value to string value before that we have to know why we are converting it to the boolean value to string value just because the sr no type that are presented in the sharepoint list returns the value as true or false in the power automate flow so that we are converting the true or false value to the sr no which is the string data type and finally we are sending the email to the particular employee that the that your details has been added in our employee list now we will create a flow open the power automate in my case i have to create the flow when an item is added to the sharepoint list so i am going to create an automated cloud flow enter the flow name choose the trigger when, when an item is created click on this create option the trigger has been added now configure the sharepoint site address and the list name an employee list once the site address and the list has been configured add a compose data operation here and rename it as previously work or not here pass the input under expression choose if operation if equals from the dynamic content select the particular field internal name which is previously worked s or no type if this value is equals to true then pass the string as yes if it is false then pass the string as no and click on this ok option and similarly select the new step add a compose data operation here and this is the another sr no type which returns the true or false value so rename it as disability person similarly check the condition equals from the dynamic content choose the particular column internal name and compare with true if it is true then convert it to yes else convert it to no now click on the ok option now we will save and test this flow till this it is working fine or not so i am going to click on the save option choose test choose manually and click test the flow will trigger only if i add new item in the sharepoint list so i am going to add new item here for testing purpose i am using my account as the employee name so in the previously work it is a no and disability person i have selected the s yes option and i am going to click on the save i have added a new item here and my flow ran successfully Fully. here you can see it returns the value as no and for disability person it returns the value as yes in the output here you can see the particular column returns the value as boolean type which is false similarly for the disability person sr no type it returns the true value so after converting it has returned to the string value now we will send an email with the converted value for that i am going to click on this edit option and I am going to add one new step and search send an email action. From the action trigger select this action. From the dynamic content pass the employee email address. Enter the subject of the mail. Similarly pass the body of the mail. Here I have add the body of mail and in these two cases I am going to pass the output of the compose action. So that the user will receive an mail with the string value which is converted from the boolean value. So in here pass the output of the previously worked or not. Similarly for disability person pass the output of this disability person compose data operation now i am going to click on the save option i am going to test this flow and i am going to add one new item in my sharepoint list i am going to pass my username here i am going to choose the previously worked as and the disability person now and i am going to click on the save option you can see a new item has been added and in this previously worked s or no type it is yes and disability person the value is no here you can see our flow ran successfully and in this previously worked or not for this particular item it is yes so it 
it is converting the boolean value from true to the yes similarly for another column disability person the value is false so here in this compose data operation it is converting the boolean data type value false to the string data type value no and finally it sends email to the particular user so i am going to check the outlook and here you can see i have received the mail that your details has been added and with the values yes and no with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how to convert the true to yes and false to no using power automate flow i hope you like this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you